Hey guys, Majeffries here. Uh, I'm going to try something a little different today. Um, I've seen a couple of other people do this, so I've decided that I'm going to do a FIFA 13 career mode. Um, now, as you can see, Stevenage are my set team on here. I'm a huge Stevenage fan, but I thought I'd try something a little different. Uh, I thought I'd try a team that I kind of know, but I'm not really a fan of, so that I wouldn't get sentimental when it comes to transfers, and I wouldn't try and keep the club the same as it is, I'll actually try and tweak it as much as I can to push for promotion and bring success. So I've chosen Barnet, who actually this could be the last time Barnet will be on FIFA for a while given their recent relegation. So uh, yeah, let's get started. As you can see, world class mode. It's not my usual difficulty level, I must admit. Um, some of these games I could be losing quite heavily because of that. Some of them I could be winning, you never know. We'll find out later on in the series. So yeah, just going to do a quick setup here. Um, one of the main reasons I chose Barnet, I suppose, is uh, I know a few people who are Barnet fans, and despite the fact I'm a Stevenish fan and I don't really like Barnet that much myself, um, I do like to keep things a little local, and I like to play as teams that I know, so I do know a few of the players, and I know what they can and can't do, and best positions, and things like that and um, I actually know someone who plays for Barnet who uh, we'll talk about a little bit later uh, if he's watching hello if not then never mind so yeah just waiting for this to load now world class is a difficult difficulty level for me I've tried world class before and basically every single time I've ended up getting sacked I tend to play as the next level down or if I'm playing as a really hard team I put it on semi-pro which is a bit noobish I know but uh, I like to win games on FIFA so uh, I, I keep it difficulty so it's just hard enough for a challenge but easy enough that I can score lots of good looking goals as well so yeah I'm just gonna save the game quickly because uh, the last thing you want to do is lose your save data especially when you're making videos about it that's slightly embarrassing when that does happen and uh, Let's get going then, shall we? First thing I like to do whenever I start a career is go straight into the squad and have a look at what players I've got and look at formations and tactics, which is what I'm going to do now. I have three custom formations. You can see they're all pretty much the same. Different dynamics involved and some I have attacking midfielders, some I have wide midfielders. This one I've gone for the wide midfielders but with centre midfielders rather than defence midfielders. Reason being that as, as much as I like defend, defending and defence midfielders, I prefer to have my midfield line a little bit higher up the pitch, keep the attack going, keep the ball nice and high, pressure high up, attack the defence rather than defend the attack. It's my motto. Um, just trying to choose the best players for each position. As I said earlier, I know two players first hand who played for Barnet, John Nurse, being a Steamish fan, I remember him playing for us, um, must be getting on for five or six years, maybe even more since Nurse left, but um, I know him just enough to know that he was a pacey striker, tended to play a bit wide most of the time, but um, scored a few goals that I saw, some of them good, some of them not so good, uh, and the other player I know is David Stevens, the centre-back, who, uh, believe it or not, I actually went to school with and played football against him a couple of times. Little did I know then that he would become a prof professional and end up playing for a team like Barnet. Um, especially when he ended up playing in Scotland. We thought that was the end of his career, but apparently not. So yeah, now I've insulted our friends north of the border, let's get on. Um, just... You know, having a look at sort of players that I want to keep, players that I want to develop, players that I don't want to keep and get rid of, either loans or transfers. Preferably, if I don't like a player over the age of 25, I want to get rid of them. Just sell them outright, get them off the wage wage bill. Um, if they're sort of between the age of 20 and 25, I loan them out, short term or long term. Uh, and if they're around like 18, 19, I'd definitely loan them out long term, get them first team football, get them plenty of experience and then when they come back into the team they can actually cause a threat. So now we've got the, the basic setup sorted, we're going to go into tactics and I like to play a possessive game of football. 
hold on to the ball for as long as possible, sort of like the Barcelona style, plug around, wait for a gap and then exploit it. Although you'll see in later matches in this series, I tend to get a bit panicky and start hacking the ball around, trying to find an opening. I lose patience very quickly when I'm losing, as you'll see later on. Just choosing set-piece takers now. Um, I've heard someone else say this before when it comes to corners. And I can't actually remember if I followed this strategy or not, but you want a player taking corners who doesn't have a high curve rating. If you want to play penetrative, straightforward attacking balls into the box. So yes, that's my little tip of the day. And uh, until the next video, guys, I will see you soon.